welcome back children let us continue with the line wise paraphrasing of act 3 scene 2 of the tempest starting from line number 37 stefano's speech mary will i he says i swear by mother mary i will kneel and repeat it he says come on kneel before me and repeat it i will stand and so shall trinculo he says trinculo and i both of us will stand and listen enter ariel invisible caliban as i told thee before he says, as I have informed you before, I am subject to a tyrant. I am the slave of a tyrant. That means I am the slave of a very wicked and a cruel man. A sorcerer. So he is basically a magician that by his cunning hath cheated me of this island who by his magical art has robbed me of this island ariel thou liest so ariel he's uh, invisible to all and he speaks loudly you are telling a lie caliban hears this he thinks trinculo is saying it caliban thou liest thou jesting monkey thou so he gets angry and looking towards uh, uh, Trinculo, he says, you are lying, you frivolous monkey, you are lying. I would, my valiant master would destroy thee. So he says, I wish that my brave master, referring to Stefano, that he would destroy you. I do not lie. I am not telling a lie. Stefano, Trinculo, if you trouble him any more in, in stale, by this hand I will supplant some of your teeth. So Stefano gets angry at Trinculo and he says that if you now interrupt him, any more during the course of his storytelling then i swear by this hand of mine i am going to knock out some of your teeth from your mouth tranquilo why i said nothing he says well i did not say anything because Trinculo is not the one speaking, the words you thou liest was spoken by Ariel who is invisible to them. Stefano, mum, mum means silent then and no more. Be quiet and don't say a word. To Caliban, proceed. He tells Caliban, okay, you proceed with your story. Caliban, I say by sorcery he got this isle. He says, I told you that by his magic he got the mastership of this island from me he got it he snatched it away from me he's robbed it from me if thy greatness will revenge it on him i just request you that you take your my revenge from him 
for i know thou darest because i know you are very brave but this thing dare not but this hateful creature pointing out to trinculo he is not courageous stefano that's most certain he says well there is no doubt about that caliban thou shall be lord of it and i will serve thee so caliban tells stefano that you shall be the ruler of this island and i shall be your servant stefano how now shall this be compassed he says well how can this task be accomplished canst thou bring me to the party can you take me to that person caliban ye ye my lord i'll yield him this asleep says yes yes my lord i shall take you to him when he is fast asleep into his head and when he is fast asleep you can drive a nail into his head ariel again invisible to all of them calls out loudly thou liest thou canst not he says you are telling a lie you cannot do any such thing caliban what a pied ninny is ninny is this he says what a spotted fool you are thou scurvy patch that is you rotten fellow i do beseech thy greatness then he looks towards stefano and he says i do request you my great lord give him blows kindly give this man a good beating and take his bottle from him and take away this bottle from him when that's gone he shall drink not but brine so when the bottle of wine is taken away from him he shall drink nothing except the salty sea water but i will not show him where the quick freshes are because i will not show him where the streams of fresh water on this island are stefano he gets angry with trinculo thinking that he is the one uh, disturbing his uh, and calling out in between that thou liest so stefano says trinculo run into no further danger said so do not take any more risks interrupt the monster one word further he says if you interrupt the monster even by speaking a single word while he is telling his story by this hand then i swear by the hand of mine i will turn my mercy out of doors and make a stock fish of thee he says i will drive the mercy out of my hand heart and beat you up like a dried and salted fish trinculo why what did, what did i he says well what is my fault i did nothing i have done nothing i'll go further off he says if you want i shall move away a little further from both of you stefano did star not say he lied did you not just say that the monster was telling a lie ariel again speaks out loudly thou liest he says you are lying now again stefano feels that trinculo is saying this because he's heard the words so he gets angry he says do i so He says am i telling a lie take thou that then he says take you that and he hits trinculo hard on his face as you like this give me the lie another time he says if you like to be beaten you call me a liar once again and i'm going to hit you once again trinculo i did not give the lie he says i never called you a liar out of your wits and hearing to he says you have lost your wits and you have lost even your hearing ability a plague on your bottle he says may a curse fall on your bottle this can sack and drinking too he says this is what too much of wine drinking can do to a man a murrain on your monster 
Murain means a curse. He says, may a curse fall on your monster and devil take your fingers and may even a curse fall on your fingers with which you beat me up. Caliban, ha ha ha. Caliban is feeling very happy on looking at Trinculo being hit by Stefano. Stefano tells Caliban now, now forward with your tale. So he says, now continue with your story. To Trinculo, Prithi stand further off and he tells Trinculo, I request you, I pray you, stand a little away from both of us. Caliban, beat him enough. He says, give him a good beating. After a little time, I'll beat him too. He says, after some time, I am also going to beat him up. Thank you.